Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for the month of October. Here are the sticker books that I will be using. Somebody had requested that I do a fall theme and I thought I'd give it a try with the stickers that I have. When it comes to the fall, uh, what comes to mind were holidays like Thanksgiving, Halloween, and then there are things like dry leaves, autumn colors of orange, yellow, and brown. Since Halloween is my daughter's favorite holiday because of the candies, you're going to be seeing a lot of those stickers related to that. For the cover page, I picked out some pumpkins and leaves stickers to decorate. I started with the main sticker with the words first, made sure that it was more or less centralized, and then followed by the month letters. For the leaves, I tried to balance out the size and colors so that it's more or less symmetrical. As a final touch, I decided to draw a border using a metallic green pen. Next page is the goals and task page. I'm using the same kind of leaves so that it matches with the cover page. And then for the headings, I tried to choose the same color scheme. It felt a little bare, so I looked for a washi strip to add a little more color to the page. Next page is the habit tracker. Here I track all of the daily routine tasks and it's been the same for the previous months. Whenever I've completed a task, I mark an X and at the end of the month, I can see what needs more attention. Here I had to use a letter L to make an E since I ran out of the sticker. It's one of the issues I've been facing whenever I'm in search of a letter sticker to decorate my bullet journal. That's why I don't stick to the same theme of letters because I run out of certain letters. Some of the habits I list here, I have been quite diligent about it. For example, exercising my face. I can't believe I've actually developed the habit to do this every morning. I can actually see some improvement on my face. Before this, I could see some sagging muscles around the curve of my jaw. Now it looks a bit tighter. I'm definitely going to continue with this habit. Now if only I can do the same for the rest of my body. The next page is where I track my workout. I'll be honest, I haven't been seriously exercising lately. I do a lot of gardening and house chores, but I haven't been going out for walks or doing any indoor video workouts. 
To compensate, I try to watch what I eat, but the scale still won't budge. I really need to find somewhere within myself to get that motivation again. In the meantime, there will always be a workout page in my bullet journal to remind myself that I have to get moving. For decoration, I'm using more leaves and washi strip to decorate around the edges. The next page is where I will be tracking the books I'm reading and the things I'm buying that is not my usual expenses. For decoration, I'm using some Halloween stickers and colourful stars for the site. I have been slowing down in my reading but I'm not worried about it as I'm still on track to meet my goal of reading 60 books for the year. As of now, I've read 49 books and according to Goodreads, I am 8 books ahead of schedule. On my bookshelf, I'm currently reading Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, Magic Bites by Ilona Andrews, and Knockout by Sarah McLean. I'm really curious about the Throne of Glass as it was highly recommended. I may not finish Magic Bites as the story feels a bit draggy. I'm halfway through and I have yet to reach any exciting parts. And for Knockout, well... I haven't started on that one just yet, so I'm reserving my opinion on that one for now. The next page is where I'm tracking all the shows and movies I'm watching for the month. Here, I'm using the same theme stickers as decoration to match with the other side. Lately, I've been on a binge watching Chinese dramas on Viki. There has been several releases lately that I'm interested in, but I don't want to start something that has not quite finished airing just yet because waiting for more episodes can be a real torture. Right now, I'm watching The Legend of So Hua, Exclusive Fairy Tale, and The Princess and the Werewolf. And I'm also going to watch The Little Mermaid on Disney Plus as I have yet to see the new adaptation. For the month of October though, I don't know what I'll be watching but I have a feeling that's going to be a lot of horror movies. Next page I'm working on is my daughter's page. I track the number of books she reads, how many minor injuries she has had, her moods, activities and other things. Lately, she's been really into Roblox and she's even taking a free after school class doing some simple Roblox programming. She's only in the second grade and when I was her age, I never had these sort of classes available to me. She is truly having a privileged childhood. Here for decoration, I'm using some candy stickers because my daughter loves receiving candies during Halloween. She has already decided on a costume and we have even bought the costume. She's going as Sailor Mars, one of the Sailor Senshis that fight alongside Sailor Moon. If you're not familiar with that character, it's basically from a Japanese animation. The reason why she chose Sailor Mars, according to her, was because she looks just like the character with the long black hair. As for me, I do have a black t-shirt with Sailor Moon on it, so I'm all set. Yeah, I'm not the type of person to really dress up in a costume, the most I'll do is a t-shirt. Next page is my social media page where I track my posts and uploads on Instagram and YouTube. I do have a separate place to plan out my videos, but for the bullet journal, I'm just going to track the posting tasks. I also do keep some stats just to see whether there's some growth in my accounts. For the icon stickers, they are from Happy Cutie Studio and Happy Daya Sticker Shops. Next page is my job search tracker and learning page. I'm still job searching and I keep track of my task by listing the tasks from A to J and then marking them accordingly every day. Each letter represents a task like browsing the job boards, customizing my resumes or applying to jobs. It's been a struggle lately because I've been unemployed for so long. It really affects my productivity, but that is the nature of the beast. 
I have been learning a lot lately, however. With the time I have, I have gained a lot of knowledge and skills that I'm proud of. Now if only I can land a job to put all that knowledge to use. Oh well, I'll just have to continue trying. Next is my gratitude page. I'm using the same letter stickers as the previous page to match the theme. I can honestly say that being grateful every day helps me focus on the positive side of my unemployment. On this page, I also track my moods beside my entries so that I can see which of those days was a bad day. But then I'd read my gratitude and feel a little better that something went well. Thankfully, I don't have many of those bad days. For decoration, I'm using some Halloween stickers to line the bottom and then a snake at the top just to add some color. Finally, the last page is my summary or highlights of the month page. I usually write paragraphs of memories I'd like to look back on, and for October, I can probably guess that it's going to be filled with thanks and Halloween memories. For the past few years, we've done pumpkin carvings, and I wonder what I'm going to carve this year. Last year was the Mind Flayer from Stranger Things. Maybe this year I'll choose something related to Sailor Moon. Hmm. I'll have to think about it more. So that's my October bullet journal setup. Here's a quick flip through of the pages. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, do give me a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified of future videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!